Welcome back. We're on to video two for the day. And that is November 2019's Boxy Charm. I love it. I'm so excited. All right, so this just came in today. I got the notification and was like, woohoo, it's the actual day that I can film. It's Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, my kids don't have homework, so when I come home, I don't have to do homework with them. They, I'm, I'm always at school a little late on Friday, so by the time I get home, they've got all their chores done, and they have earned their weekend video game time. So that means that I have video making time, so hence why you're getting so much. It's also wine time. <clears throat> Mom juice. And I don't care. Okay, so. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh. That is red. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was red or like hot pink, but it's, I think it's red. All right. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is the little thing, and it's Stellar. BoxyCharm Stellar. So, and I have variation 10. Although you won't be able to see that. There is a little tiny 10 in white in the bottom. And then up oh, the inside does talk about what we're getting. And the back talks about boxy lux, boxy pop-up, and the complexion customization. Oh. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the complexion customization. The very first thing that I have on top of my box, because it came literally like this with this on top, so I pulled this off, got to see it, and then there's this thing on top. This is our new complexion customization um, item. So we get to try these things, and unfortunately, I really don't think that any of these are going to be my skin tone. Um, I don't know when I said that I was medium light that they fully understood what, because I mean, I don't know if you could see, but those are really, really freaking light. All right. So it says that swatch the Becca or Pretty Vulgar complexion pack in your November box. Visit BoxyCharm slash complexions to let us know which say best match your complexion. Receive complexion products better match to you in a future boxy. So I'll try that and I'm probably going to have to tell them that it was not dark enough because I've got cashmere, shell, and linen. Yeah. Those are... So linen is all the way over here on like the very end of the palest of the pale. That might work on my daughter. Um, and then shell is just a few over and then cashmere is a little over here. So they gave me a range from here to here. Um, I'm probably further in this area um, looking at it. So I'm probably closer to like an olive or a driftwood maybe even like a buttercup, not, not any of these, but I will tell them which one was closest. Um, I can almost guarantee, I would say that it would have been the cashmere, but that looks like it's got some pink undertones and the shell has the yellow undertones. So we'll see, but I will fill that out. Try that out. I'm going to get going. Okay. So the first thing that I'm pulling out are the boxy charm brushes that they made and Ooh, Okay, so I saw some people post about these that got them in the big box and got like the full set. And I will say that I was not super excited about these because I don't wear foundation at all. So I was like, I'm not going to know what to do with this. But then I saw where somebody was like, oh, this is great for contouring, you know, and the bronzer and whatnot. And I don't contour. I don't know how to, but I'm kind of excited to try it. So I'm going to use this as my kick in the pants to go ahead and learn how to contour my face before the hubby gets home. You might get to see that journey with me. You may not, depending on how Frankenstein-esque I look. If I end up looking like Frankenstein's monster, you're probably not going to get to see it. If it actually turns out to where, you know, I don't look like I'm half dead, you might. So that's kind of neat. Um, so the, the brushes are, okay, BoxyCharm two-piece brush set with a value of $35. Create your favorite looks in total luxury with a first ever BoxyCharm branded brush set. The large multi-purpose powder brush is perfect for liquids, creams, and powders or mineral products, and the foundation brush has an oval base to help with precision foundation placement and seamless blending. 
These ultra soft brushes are handcrafted, synthetic, and cruelty free. And they are super soft. But, um, like I said, I don't wear a foundation at all. So I'm a little like, mm, what am I going to do with it? But then somebody was saying, you know, for, for bronzer, for contouring, and might actually give that a try. All right, so the next thing that I'm pulling out is Cypress. Now, this was my choice item. I got to choose either this or the Juicy Beauty um, anti-wrinkle cream. I'm not a huge Juicy Beauty, beauty fan. Um, it, it's The products work great. However, almost all of them, I have reactions to the fragrances. So I don't know what formula they use. I just, I can't. All right. So this is the Kypris made exclusively for BoxyCharm. All right, so that. This is the Kypris Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. Antioxidant Dew lavishes skin with quenching encapsulated antioxidants, nurturing amino acids, and an array of soothing botanicals used as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. Okay, so it's a serum, step six and seven and eight currently. I'm using just a few serums. I'm gonna do a video in just a minute on one of the serums because one of my subscribers asked me about it and this one's for you. Um, for that video, I'll go ahead and I'll tag you and everything. So, um, but this one I'm not gonna open quite yet. I'm actually gonna put it back in the box and I'm going to save it because I have like seven serums open right now. Oops. So, but I will try this one. Um, I have a couple of serums that are like this close to being done and when they're done, they're done. Um, and I will be trying something else. Okay. Okay. So now I have the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick. It says our liquid matte lipstick has a velvety high fashion matte finish, um, which envelops lips in rich lawn wearing color. It applies as a creamy liquid, but after a few minutes it dries into an ultra comfortable matte finish. And this is worth $18. This is worth 90. I don't know if I said that, but 90. All right, and then my color is Nude Mood, which I'm not a huge nude fan. I thought for certain that when I put the, they did say that if you got the dose of colors that it would be based on your preferences. Nudes are not on my preferences. I don't wear nude lipstick 99% of the time. I wear red. Red looks good on me. The darker, the better. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is really nude. Um, I'm not going to swatch this because I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but I mean, I'm sure it's pretty. I'm not even going to open it. Um, I'm just not, I don't wear nude. I don't wear nude most of the time, and that, that looks pretty if you hold the color up, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Like that looks pretty close to my skin tone. Um, and it's honestly probably lighter than my natural lip color. My natural lip color is pretty, fairly intense itself, which is why I think I like darker colors on its own. But you know, that's there, we'll see. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing that I have is a box of stuff. Oh, okay, <laughs> they put the eye palette inside of the, the thing. That's really smart, actually. So this is the Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics um, palette. <gasps> oh. Now see, I've actually seen like a lot of videos on it. It's got, it's got a fairly big mirror, but I've seen a lot of videos on this one. Um, just people showing that. But the colors do not come through very well in the videos. This I am super excited about. Oh my god. Fireball is gorgeous and black matter. Okay, so it's got one, two, three, four, five matte shades. So zero, the zero gravity is matte. This is Mystic Ice, Lunar Eclipse, Storm Dust, Lucid Dream, Black Matter, Fireball, and Eternal Light look like they are. That's not even shimmer, that's probably a glitter. All right, so let's see what this one says. Celestial Thunder is an explosion of vivid pigment shadows and glittery foils. Okay, that's it. With eight uniquely formulated shades for a creative, colorful eye look or a simple pop of electric color. These vibrantly made shades tell a cosmic story and bring the universe to life. It's worth $35. All right. So let us go ahead and swatch, 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 swatch. After 
your wine. Like I said, I don't care about being monetized by YouTube, so I will drink my wine and it's okay. Alright, so. Oh. They feel, so the matte feels extremely velvety and the shimmers feel almost sticky, like a little sticky and the matte's very smooth. So I don't know, that might be a, uh, let me definitely build that one up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, that's, okay. That's, that's better. All right. So that's the first, the top four that are on it. Oh, geez, you can't even see this one. So this one, um, which is the Eternal Light, is very, very close to my natural skin tone. Um, it does have like a champagne type color to it, so it's very close to my natural skin tone. Um, the Fireball, even though, you know, it looks red, so Let's do this so that you can see. So the fireball looks a little more red right there, but on my skin, it actually comes out orange, which is disappointing because I don't do orange. So I'm getting my, my makeup wipes. I don't use makeup wipes on my face. I use them because I will play around with eyeshadow combinations on my arms, on my back of my hands, on my neck. I've done it in weird places. So I'll do that. Um, so I'll use makeup wipes to take it off of wherever I'm playing with it, but I don't really um, use them on my face very much. I prefer to actually cleanse, cleanse my face. So, oh, I can't make my thing close again. There we go. All right, so now for the last ones. Okay, these seem to be have quite a bit more pigment than the Zero Gravity did. Let's see what one swipe does. All right. So, yeah, let's see, the orange shade needs, yeah, there we go, it built up a little bit. Okay, so these are all of the colors. Vogue, 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 Vogue. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to Vogue my swatches. All right, so that you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Those are all of the colors you've got um, from like a champagne all the way down to the vibrant blue. The orange, the lunar eclipse is extremely orange. So the lunar eclipse and the fireball are two of them that I'm probably never going to touch beyond this for me. Um, however, they might actually look kind of cute on my daughter for some, um, I don't know, every once in a while I'll let her wear some makeup and we just play around with it. So that's really neat. Put that over there and go ahead and remove the swatches from my arms. Oh, okay. Um, duly note, this glitter does not come off easy. It's, it's glitter. I don't know if you can see the shine right there, but um, yeah. Glitter is the uh, herpes of the craft world because it gets everywhere, it spreads, and you can never get rid of it fully. So, there's that. Okay. All right, pull my arm down. And then the very last thing in my box is something I'm excited about because it's sheet mask, which if you saw any of my other videos, you know I have way too many of and no apologies. So this is the Tula Skin Care Star Power Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydrogel Mask set of two. <laughs> That's how they got cosmic. Does it actually say cos? Yep, it does say cosmic on here and it's got little stars all over it so it fits the theme. All right, um, clear skin, zero irritation, our acne gel containing 2% salicylic acid to clear up acne, prevents breakouts, and brighten marks left by post past acne. Um, and these is a set of two and it retails for $22. So it's got, it says it's got probiotics, grapefruit, go-to cola, and chamomile. Um, I don't really use acne products on my face. 
Um, I've got like slightly dry combination skin and the acne, anything with the salicylic acid tends to really um, dry my skin out. I've never done a sheet mask that has it in it. So um, I might go ahead and try it and review it and then one of them might be going somewhere else. We'll see. All right, anyways. So we have a $35 eye palette, a $90 serum, all right, uh, so that's $125, an $18 lipstick, which is right here, $18 lipstick, so $135 plus $18 is $153, so we've got $153, $22 um, sheet mask. So that is, sorry, uh, $175 value. And then the brush set, which is $35. So that is a $210 value. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, so $210. Way to step it up, BoxyCharm. That's a lot. All right. Um, so that's all for this one. Pretty excited about this. Um, I'm going to do the complexion thing and I might do a little post to like talk about how it was and did they give me any other options for things that I, um, if the colors didn't match at all. Um, and I'll let you guys know, you know, if I had any problems with that, I'll probably just put it down at the bottom and let you know if it requires a whole video, I might do that too. Cause I know, I don't think anybody else has actually shown what they've done with that. So I'll try it out. We'll see. Anyways, cheers.